Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Furberg Freeride Snowboard. That's right, it's got a funny name, and we're reviewing it, so let's dive into it. This board features a mellow cam rocker camber profile, so you got mellow camber between the feet and then rocker that's more exaggerated out in the tip and the tail. This is gonna give you the load and snap of traditional camber right underfoot, but you're gonna get ease of entry in and out of turns as well as better powder float from the rocker in the tip and the tail. This board is available in 150, 155, 160, 165, and 170. I rode this board at Loveland Ski Area in the preseason on a sunny bluebird day with slightly warmer temps. There was chunder snow, frozen snow, ice snow, perfect corduroy, and a couple inches of fresh here and there all over the mountain, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label Bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. You have your standard free ride flex with this board, meaning softer nose that progressively stiffens up to the tail. There's a little bit of torsional flex between the feet and two notable flex points right in front of the front insert pack and right outside the back insert pack. You're gonna notice those right away when you flex in this board. This board's Stable yet lively, so you do feel some of the chatter. You'll notice at high speeds that you get some flap in the nose and that does resonate back under the front foot. So just be prepared that you're gonna feel some micro vibrations as it is a little bit more of a lively board. Overall, I would say that this is your standard middle of the road free ride flex to the board. There is snap if you engage right at the flex point where the camber meets the rocker. So you're gonna load up that traditional camber section of the cam rocker that's gonna activate that rocker section. You're gonna get a little bit of spring. Is it the snappiest board out there? No. Will it get the job done? Yes. So if you wanna butter with this, you do have rocker in the nose and the tail. I really wouldn't recommend it with this board, but if you want to, it's there. So I'll leave that with how you feel it can butter at high speeds in pow or steep ass terrain. This board is not easy to engage. You're gonna throw your weight into that side cut to get it to grip. You're just gonna drive with all your weight and just slam that board into the edge. It is a little bit easier in fresh snow compared to firm snow, but at the end of the day, this board takes a lot of effort just to engage it to turn. Realistically, medium mellow turns are pretty much a strong suit and you're still throwing your weight into it. You need to be able to pick your line and just drive as hard as you can, which after riding the Furberg line, these boards are designed for wide open terrain. It makes the most sense. They're designed for riding a little bit more fresh snow or softer snow. They're not designed for like these North American resorts with tight cut trails and crusty man-made snow. That's really what it is. So if you're like one of those guys that really wants to swoop from one side of the trail to the other and wants just a board that has to be assertive on edge, then yes, this this will carve for you. But if you're not, you need to look elsewhere. It's really not the best at turning. So who's this board for? Someone that understands that they're gonna be riding more fresh snow than crusty firm snow and totally understands the nuances of finessing a board like this and how to manhandle it. I'll just say it, this board isn't for me. I knew that within like two laps. This this board is really for someone that's not people dodging and has way more wide open terrain. The camber profile is actually solid on this, but everything else just takes way too much work. I'm a lazy American, I'll friggin' admit it. That's what it is. If you're a more dominant, domineering rider, then yes, you're probably gonna like it. Overall, not overly impressed with this thing. Comparable boards, the Jones Ultra Flagship, the Ride Commissioner, the K2 Overboard. This has been my review of the Furberg Freeride. Do you agree, do you disagree, do you own one, are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications, that way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really wanna support us and just help us grow out what we're doing over here, Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.